Uh, my name is Troy Clark. I'm President of General Motors North America. Well, first, let me say thanks for noticing. You know, we, we have been positioning ourselves as a global company for a long time. Actually, General Motors, I believe, is probably the, the first global auto company. We made our first acquisition in the early 1900s, actually, and have had a presence in many countries around the world for, for a long time. I think different, though, in recent years, we've been trying to leverage being a global company to the benefit of General Motors. And realistically, we used to be a company that had a lot of operations around the world that kind of did their own thing. They developed their own products, they went to market their own way, and many of them used their own brands. Today, in fact, we have established global brands so that we can create a more uniform presence for General Motors in the eyes of the, in the, eyes of the market. And then we're leveraging the technology, which is more and more expensive so that we develop it in one place, validate it, and then we can reapply that technology in every market around the world. Are there any countries that you're importing cars from today? Uh, we bring a few cars from, uh, we bring some cars from Mexico today. Uh, Mexico is actually part of the North American footprint. We bring some cars from Canada. Canada is part of the NAFTA footprint, as you're aware. And we bring uh, some cars from uh, Korea at present. And how are you keeping in sync with what uh, Bob Lutz is bringing out, showing us all, and uh, budget for North America. Actually, the turnaround, uh, you know, this, the turnaround, uh, we call it our turnaround plan, if you go back a year, when uh, uh, the, the reporting on General Motors had a lot to do with our business results at the time, the turnaround plan is a product-based turnaround plan. They're recognizing that the way to do well in this market is to provide the products that people want to buy. And so you saw we pulled ahead the full-size sport utility, and we pulled ahead by 13 months our new full-size pickup truck. Bob Lutz was key and part of bringing those products to the market with no compromises to allow us the fiscal capability to continue to, to invest. Bob Lutz brings forward a proposal that says we need to invest more in our products in our product programs rather than less. And so we saw over the course of 2006 an increase of over a billion dollars in our investment in new products and the technology associated with them. So it's, it's not so much that it's tough keeping up with Bob, but Bob is a great leader and a great champion for this element of our turnaround plan. One last question. You guys are not profitable in the United States, yeah, but yeah. there are companies in Japan Japanese companies that are not profitable in, in Japan. How do you, what do you think that is, why is that happening? Well, you know, your home market is often your most difficult market. It's typically where you have your highest level of asset investment, and it's also usually where you face your strongest competition. And this market is no is, is, is no different. The U.S. market is a it's a big market. It's a very lucrative market. There's a lot of players in the market, and we've been in business for a long time. Sometimes you're you know when you've been in business for a long time, a lot of costs creep into your business that sometimes are hard to get out. And so you got to continually relook at your business, and I think this is. Same for us, and it's the same for them. You got to continue to relook at your business, reinvent yourself, re-examine costs. Don't look at the compromises. Pull the stuff out that doesn't belong there. Continue to become better. You got to make that competition in your home market really work for you, because it forces you to become a better company. It, it, it is kind of interesting that people don't realize that this is happening to other companies in other countries. Yeah. Well, you know, it's. It's, it's kind of like politics, right? I mean, to a lot of people, the auto, the global auto market is really seen through a very local representation. But it is a very interesting industry. It's one that we, you know, we do well in around the world, and, and we certainly look forward to continue to be around for a long time. Roy Clark, thank you very much. Thank you.